Well, hello and welcome to Crumlin. Things at the top of all the league standings. Well, they are reaching a climax. And one of the teams who can climb to the top of the table, the under 16B table, is Loch Goal. They can do that today should they beat Ballamoney. Action from that game coming up. First, though, it's the best of the highlights from the last two weeks. Luckall in blue had the chance to go top of the NIBFA's under 16B table as they took on Ballamoney in Crumlin. After just five minutes, Luckall's Luke Cartwright picked out Josh Woods, who couldn't direct this header on target. And four minutes later, Lewis Hughes had two half chances. PJ McAleese blocked the first effort, his second veered wide of the Ballamoney goal. Lucko continued to boss the game offensively. Patrick Kerr and Silvio Santiago Afonso linked well. Kerr's cross was partially diverted by Thomas McNabb in Balamoni's goal. Cartwright sent the ball back into the box. James McCaffey couldn't manage to keep his shot down. Ultimately, and the chance went to begging for Lucko. After a scoreless first half, Johnny Yurt tried to break the deadlock but fired straight at McNabb. And Lockall had the ball in the net after 53 minutes. But Silvio Santiago Afonso's header from James McCormick's cross was ruled out for offside by the referee. McCormick and Afonso combined again three minutes later to put Lockall in front. This header gave McNabb no chance in the Balamoney goal. <laughs> and the pair were at it again on 56 minutes. Afonso robbed William Dale before going past him again for a second time, providing the assist for McCormick to slide home at the back post. And with four minutes remaining, Afonso got his second and luck goals third, this time heading home from Sam Smith's pinpoint kiss. <laughs> Balamoney scored a fine consolation goal. Callum Munnis crossing for Aidan Gillen to thunder home this header off the crossbar. Full-time luck goal three, Balamoney one. Yes, we're very happy with our performance, and particularly in the first half too. Like we kept the ball, just put the ball on the ground, tried to play football. Uh, the lads, they didn't have much luck in front of goal. Like they were trying to force goals instead of keeping the ball, playing it on the ground. But uh, once we scored the first goal in the second half, we just went from strength to strength. And the couple of substitutions come on, uh, two of substitutes set up the first and second goal. So. More than happy with the performance. Uh, first half, we actually done okay. We had a weekend squad today. Um, but I think once we won, I'll done. I think we lost the composure a bit and then shipped in our two really bad goals. But the encouraging thing is, we never stopped. Got another late goal back at the end there. And, uh, 
He'll think of three or four players short for next season, maybe five, but it's a learning curve for us this year, first year on it, so not too bad, happy enough, but a few changes need it, I think.